Hello, it's Matthew here, back again with the second part of the blog video that we did last week, which was where do you go to find the best men? As you can see, I did that one in daytime. It's now a little bit more of a nighttime feel. I'm excited about this today because you emailed in your answers, you commented, you left them on YouTube, you left them on the blog. These comments have been everywhere. On the blog alone, we've had 300 plus, it's crazy. And what's so interesting is it backed up everything that I wanted to tell you last week, but I was gonna wait till this week to tell you. And that was this. If you go down the comments from last week's blog, and I would really encourage you to do that because it's so enlightening to just look at all these different places, I asked people, where did you meet your last guy? And here's what we found. People listed every type of place you can imagine. You had the obvious ones, like I met him at work, I met him through friends, I met him through family, I met him at church, I met him in the park. But then you had everywhere, like I met him at a swimming pool, I met this guy on the train, I met this guy at a bus stop. Someone said, I met a guy on safari when I was there for 24 hours. Another person said, I met my guy ride sharing when we were sharing a car on the way to work. Another person said, I met my guy in the ladies' bathroom because <laughs> they changed the signs and the guy was in the wrong bathroom bathroom. People met their guys everywhere. You name it, we've got a comment saying people, someone, a woman met someone there. Now the interesting part about this is that the obvious thing to say is you can meet a guy anywhere, right? You can meet a guy in any location, it doesn't matter. But here's the interesting part. In every, or almost every one of these comments, people said, here's where I met my guy. But then they proceeded to tell me how. In other words, it wasn't enough just to say, I met a guy outside of a hotel. You would say, I met a guy outside of a hotel. He looked at me, then I looked back, then he looked again, then I looked back, then I said hi, then this happened. In other words, there would be a story. Now, the important part is not where, it's how. In other words, I was more interested, interested in the stories that came afterwards than in the places that you met those guys. Because what we've proven is that you can meet a guy anywhere, but the most important part is that when you're in that location, you take action. In other words, what have I been saying all along, right? You wait or you create. The most important part was in those locations, in the majority of those stories, they involved someone creating. It was either the woman or the man. And in fact, the great part was that in so many of these get the guy stories, it was the woman who made the move. That, that really excited me because so many women were saying, I never realized before, you could make a move and it would work. You could get a boyfriend from making the first move and yet so many of you did. In fact, I had a favorite. I'm gonna read it out because I just thought it was so bold, so cool. One of you met a guy on a park bench outside a library and your comment was, you're cute, I would really like to meet you. That was literally the comment that she said off the bat. You're cute, I'd really like to meet you. And guess what? This person ended up as her boyfriend. Isn't that amazing? You can make the first move, you don't have to wait, you can create, and guess what? The majority of opportunities in your love life come when you create. Not when we're searching for the perfect place, but when we look for every location, wherever there's a guy, and we create in that place. So that's the big revelation for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you feel empowered to go out there and create everywhere you go, and I will see you soon. Take care, my friends.